Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I'd like to thank you all for flying with me today, especially the man with the small monkey who visited the flight deck earlier. We'll be on the ground shortly, and I hope you'll enjoy your visit. And for those young men who'll be staying over, my phone number is 73421. Was a visit? Uh, well, we're um, students, and we're going to be working with the Royal St. Kitts Hotel. May I see your visa? Visa? I don't got a visa. I got a master charge. Next. Weren't you in that Uncola commercial? Ha 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 ha! Try to pretzel. It's your passport. I hope they don't find your stash. It's your pocket. They don't check in one bag. Do you have anything to declare the customs? No. Is this all you have? Yeah. You don't think it's enough? What is this? <laughs> That's a grass skirt. I bet you a buck I score over this island here, Mr. Ivan. It's been like so exotic. You're huh? on. All right. Sweetheart. Oh, shit. Give it to him. Who does your hair? Has the monogram China arrived from Germany and been entered in the inventory? Yes, sir. Have the housemaids been briefed about the new air conditioning unit? Yes, sir. Have you ordered the cut flowers for the hotel guest room? Yes, sir. It should be clearly understood, Martin, I want no repeat of last year's fiasco. That's why I hired you. Sit down, please. Yes, sir, well, thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to help you straighten this out. Yes, 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 I'm sure you realize. Our summer help resents our rules and regulations and don't give a damn about the hotel or its reputation. For instance, last year, one of our most trusted boys consumed the entire contents of my private liquor cabinet and then try to jump the swimming pool in my new view. Why, you should have seen the mess. There was debris all over the patio dining room. It was terrible. Why, I couldn't even suck it up with the vacuum. Williams! Go away. Well, if I must. So this year, I want maximum discipline. You got that, Martin? Yes, sir. As you well know, sir, I've built my reputation on discipline. <laughs> Honey! Ow! Look at this guy! <laughs> Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Mr. Martin. I'm the manager of the Royal St. Kitts Hotel. I'll be your supervisor here for the next few weeks. Can everyone hear me? No, we're all deaf. <laughs> Shut her there. <laughs> I said, can everyone hear me? Yes. Guess what? Yes, sir. Guess what? You're a zoner! Hey, whoa. There's one thing I'm gonna ask you to do with is don't mess with my hair. Hey, don't mess with his hair. It's from the east side. How'd you know it's from the east side? I could tell by your hair. <laughs> Did that nightstick previously belong to your sister? <laughs> what? First, who does your hair? And second, <laughs> What, did I step on the wrong bus and join the Marines or what? I like that. I like that. You want to be a comedian, son? Yeah. Well, that's nice. You see, I sent you a letter yesterday, and I forgot to stand. Oh. Now, you listen. This is not a whorehouse. 
So you put your little peckers on hold. If you want to behave like a bunch of punks, I suggest you get on the next plane and get the hell out of here. What about you, East Side Hair? That's good. That's good. I like that. Uh, let me just think for a second. Mm, no. No thanks. No thanks what? No thanks, sir. Now remember, our motto here at the Royal St. Kitts is the guest is always right. If he calls you an asshole, then you're an asshole. Weren't you in a movie with Fay Ray? <laughs> I'll remember that. Please do. Hey, how's it going? Hey, bro. Hey, get moving. Guys. So, welcome to the Royal St. Kitts. Yeah, welcome. How's your foot? It's doing okay. How about you, Reside Hair? Where are you from, anyway? Uh, five push. <laughs> How'd you get into this mess? I need the bread. For what? For college. Yeah, that's two. Oh, shit. My mom can't afford it. I hear that. Well, what I want to know is when are we going to get laid? Yeah. Relax. It'll happen. Oh, yeah? Well, King Kong says he's got our peckers on hold, right? Listen, my brother Frankie was down here last year, and after two weeks, he was into deficit pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you hungry? You want to go for what they call a conch salad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah what? Yes, yes sir! sir! Gentlemen, ready, hats on, hats on! Chew tobacco, chew tobacco, chew tobacco, spit! If you're not from Ramsey, you're not worth shit! Bravo, bravo. That's discipline. Ah, uh, Carl, chalk wags. Leave the gear. Let the uniformed Cretans earn their wages. Brad, get the luggage. Move it! Gentlemen. Welcome to the Royal St. Kitts Hotel. Thank you. Rest assured that our staff will work very hard to give you every satisfaction. Wonderful. I say, boy, be careful. That's expensive gear. Uh, excuse me, sir, excuse me. I'll take care of it. Brad! Welcome to the Royal. Welcome to the Royal. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Excuse Welcome. me, gentlemen. Good show. Thank you very much. The rest of you idiots, move this luggage. Now you listen, Pete Brains. I want you to move this luggage and I want you to do it right. You understand? Yes, Mr. Martin. We just want to keep the flow going, Mr. Martin. We don't want to keep any of the other guests just waiting. Just button your lip, boy, off. I don't do it. No, I'll let that college crew do it. I see the bridge team from Roanoke is here. Well, that's good. We'll put them in the dining room and then we'll have... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I have to go shopping. Could I borrow your bus? Yes. I'll be right back. Don't worry about it. Uh, Here, pal. We'll spend it all in one place. Twenty bucks? Oh, you must be a millionaire. What'd you do? Win the lottery? No. <laughs> he wanted on that new game show, Mavens for Millions. I know that show. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> well, look. You know, if there's anything you guys need, you know, please call. My name is Marty. Marty Sullivan. Marty. Right on, Marty. Give me five. All right. <laughs> I love your pants. I love them. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Don't you just love those upper-class accents? Yeah. I mean, please. You see them trying to pull that crap in downtown Brooklyn? <laughs> they kill them. They kill them. <laughs> what the hell are you doing with my clothes, boy? Sorry, sir. It was an accident. Accident, my foot. You did that on purpose. Hey, he said it was an accident. Who asked you, boy? No one, bro. Then don't speak until spoken to. Really? Andrew? He called me boy one more time. I'm going to knock him on his preppy little ass. Typhoon! Typhoon! Stand aside! Clear the way! Best damn crew in the USA! What are they doing? What's going on down here now? Come on. That's not mine. What are you doing? My father bought me that. That one. That one. Listen to me, boy. 
Don't screw with me or my crew, or I'll have you out on the next plane. You've got that. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, maybe it's a good idea not to mess with the hotel staff either. Oh, there! Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Welcome to the Royal St. Kitts. Welcome to the Royal St. Kitts. I'd like to welcome you to the Royal St. Kitts Hotel. Oh, Milty, come on. Oh, I can't wait to go down to the pool, find myself a lounge chair, snap my fingers for some young Tarzan to go fetch me a martini and a clean towel, eh? Let's huh? forget about it. Let me see all that white flesh hanging over the webbing. They'll cover you up with a sheet. <laughs> Enjoying your stay at the St. Kitts? Kitts? The, the Royal Tits? St. Kitts? Yes, I am. Thank you. You're awfully cute. What's your name? Kenny. How long are you going to be here for? The season. Oh. Can I have a sip? Sure. Good afternoon and welcome to the Royal St. Kitts Hotel. Good afternoon. The lady would like to go around the entire island one more time. Okay, yes, sir. Don't take any detours, okay? Yes, sir. You're a maniac. Yes, sir. Good morning. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Labowitz. What a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> My, what a pretty dress. Sears? <laughs> no, J.C. Penny. Oh. Are the flowers in the room fresh? Of course they're fresh. Good morning. Breakfast is served. Oh, great. Thanks. You could just put it over there. Who is it, Franny? The waiter. Room service. Breakfast is served. Do you remember me? I, I opened the door for you and when you arrived. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I guess I missed that. <laughs> Hi. Um, I, I hope that you found everything here to your satisfaction. Um, I want you two to remember that the bar is fully stocked. And that the controls for the air conditioning are over in the corner. You can skip the commercial. We've been here before. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. Um, I want you to know that the management wishes you a very happy stay here. And so do I. Wait. No, 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 no. It's on me. I've never heard that before. <laughs> well. You're in love. You try anything. Bye. 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 Oh, God. Hey, where do you think you're going, huh? 242. This is Miller. Heaven. <laughs> if you don't survive, you want to give me a Swiss Army knife? Sure. Hey, what are you smiling about? Had a piece of tail for breakfast? No, no, man. I'm in love, man. I mean, right up to here. You mean right up to here. So who's the lucky lady? Some rich chick who's way out of our class, hey, I suppose. No, 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 Cameron. Not this one, man. This one's going to be different. I'm telling you. You should have seen the eye contact we had going, man. She wants me. She wants to get laid by the great Marty Sullivan. You are full of shit, Marty. She's just playing games. She's a prick teaser. She just wants to feel she could make it with whoever she chooses. But in the end... She's gonna go for one of her own. Probably one of those assholes from the rowing crew. You got it all wrong, Kenny. You wanna bet? 20 bucks you don't score. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. <laughs> You're on, mighty mouse. What are we doing going around here in circles? This is Miller. Room service, your breakfast is ready.
Hello? Room service. Anybody there? It's your breakfast. Well, Williams, have you anything to report? Oh, yes, sir. Everything is just fabulous. The hotel's almost full, and the sun is shining, and the birds are singing, and I can finally get that operation I need. <laughs> Crap, Williams. Have you had the trains fixed yet? Oh, yes, sir. Ah, what about the reservations for the production company shooting the TV commercial? Everything is under control, Mr. Bray. Yes, but are you, Williams? Are you under control? <laughs> now, what? Good work with the summer help this year. I like your style. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Got any more tricks up your sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> this is only the beginning, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got coffee for one. But we need tea for eight. Hey, Fran, I can check out the view. Coming. Come on, the unpacking can wait. Good morning, fair lady. Good morning. I'm your neighbor, Andrew Piermont. Liza French. Charmed. Liza French. I know that name. Didn't you go to Bromfield College? For a couple of years. How did you know that? We met at our semester dance. Just one of the crowd, you know. Well, I must say you have a good memory. Liza, telephone. Excuse me. Um, I'm sure I'll see you later. Who is it? It's a guy, of course. Who are you talking to outside? Andrew Piermont. Andrew Piermont? He says he remembers me from the dance at Bromfield. Are you kidding? What a line. Is he cute? Uh, he looks like that guy who would wear a rubber necktie in the shower. Hello? Who is this? Marty. You remember me. I brought the luggage up to your room. All right. Oh, well, the reason I called was because, um, well, I wanted you to know that if you need anything here, what you got to do is call me because, well, you can't call anybody else because I brought the luggage there and that means I got to take care of you. So call me and I'll be there with any time being there. Uh, this is the extension that gets you to the lobby. Right. Well, what I can do is I can transfer you very easily by just dialing a couple numbers and it would really be a great pleasure to do that because I just love being of service to our guests. Hello? Having a good time, Milty? <laughs> Terrific. Not getting... Too excited, are we? I'm getting there, baby. I'm getting there. Why do you say we go to the room? No, not yet. I gotta have some coffee. Hmm? Coffee. Huh? Gotta have my coffee. Oh. Hey, pal. Huh? Yeah. How about how about bringing us some coffee here? Would you do that? Oh, yes, sir. Coming right up. Right. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Where, where are you from? Uh, New York. New York. East Side, yeah. yeah same as, uh, uh... Marty. Marty. Marty right. Yeah, we came down here together for the summer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah listen, uh, let, me, let me ask you something. Uh, where? How you, uh... uh how you... How you getting any? Uh, no, not yet, no. sir. No. Hey, look, look over there. How's, how's she look for you? She is very desirable, sir. Why don't you like to make out with that? <laughs> Who wouldn't? Why, do you know her? No. Well, I can tell you how to do it. Oh, yeah? Right, come here. Yeah, hey, what's your name? Oh, uh, Chuck. Chucky boy. Yeah. You go over to her, Chucky boy, and you mm. say, Hi, do you want to fuck? She says, No, you know, right where you stand, you got nothing to worry about, okay? And you haven't wasted any time. And, uh, 
if she hits me in the head with the poolside table? She's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that happens, then you gotta say, well, I guess a blowjob is out of the question. <laughs> and but, uh, if I strike out with that? Well, then you gotta ask her to go over the move. Go ahead, go for it. Go for it. Thanks. That wasn't very nice, Milty. <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> the kids gotta learn. That's why they're all down here. They gotta understand it's not just gonna fall into their laps. They gotta be aggressive, right? You don't get anything today anymore by being nice to people. You're gonna come right out with it. You want to or don't you? I wanna. The coffee. The coffee. I gotta wait for the coffee. Fuck the coffee. I love when you talk dirty. Let's say that again. How about the coffee? I want Okay. No, I won't. You like it when I say that? Fuck the coffee, fuck the coffee, fuck the coffee. Um, I don't suppose you'd like to go to the movies tonight. Oh, fuck off. Well, I guess a blowjob would really be out of the question then. Not necessarily. Oh, yeah? So do you like what? Swallow it or spit it out, you know? You. Fuck me. Well, that's kind of what I had in mind. You know, which way do you like it? Because I got the People's Almanac, and it lists the six most favorite popular positions with women, especially women like you. I can tell because you have that kind of body. Have you been with a woman? Yes. Liza, we are going to be here all day. You having trouble? I cannot hit this ball! Yeah, well, uh, this game is very easy if you know how to do it. Can I show you how to do this? Yeah, gladly. Well, here now, step up to the ball. There's only three things you have to know. Keep your head down. Nice, easy swing. Follow through. Heard that line before. Go for it. That was great! Well, you kept your head down. I'll tell you what, you owe me a dollar if I get it on the green. Okay. Wow, you did it! It's pretty good, huh? Pretty good! So where are you going? Good afternoon, ladies. Marty Sullivan at your service once more. Is this your table? Yes, ma'am. You did not take our order. You are not our waiter. It's the new system here. Is everything to your satisfaction? Very satisfactory. Are you sure? Would you please get lost? Go, 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 go. Franny, give the guy a break. Look, I just want to eat in peace. That's all. I do not need some slob hanging over me saying, do you want some more coffee, some more jam with your toast? Are you sure you're fine? Let him do his job and get the hell out. I just think you're being a little unfair, that's all. Bullshit, Liza. They are servants. I mean, did you see him? You probably bought his clothes at Kmart. Shut up, Franny. There's no need to humiliate him. What's the matter? Do you like him? He's interesting, that's all. Interesting? Do you want to go to bed with him? That's ridiculous. I don't even know him. Oh, I'm sorry. You haven't been formally introduced. 
Okay, fine. Uh, excuse me, Sullivan. Oh, you can enter. Uh, I would like to formally introduce my friend Liza French to you. She says she finds you rather interesting. So, now that you've been formally introduced, piss off. Hey, what's that problem? I don't know, but the one with the brown hair is, like, gorgeous. She's not so bad, and the other one isn't so bad, and I... You like her? What, the blonde? I love her. You love her? I love her. <laughs> Then maybe we should get together and, you know, double date. I wouldn't waste my time. Rinse this. You know, that's the same thing that Kenny said, so I bet him 20 bucks I'd score. If Kenny bet you 20 bucks, you wouldn't score? What's that? Right. Came all the way down here from the east side with your best friend and he bet you you wouldn't score? That's right. I'll bet you 120. 120? That's right. You're on. Guys are nuts, you know that? You got no confidence in me. And besides, you know, you've never seen the real Marty at work. I just saw the real Marty at work and you sucked. But I could imagine you doing your very best work. Where? In front of the mirror at Kmart, where you buy your clothes. I'm scared. Oh, sorry. I'll move it. No, no problem. I'll get it. You got a moment? I need some muscle to move a bed. A double? Great. Okay, so, um, where do you want to move to? Ah! What is going on? You mean what's coming off? Hey, you know somebody could very easily walk in here. What Don't about the... Don't worry, uh... I put the safety catch on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get those pants off. We've got work to do. Work? Hey, well, so where are you going? This way, the management thinks I'm still working. Hey, are you sure you got the right guy? I mean, we haven't exactly cultivated a relationship. You're a man, and that's just what I need. Come on, baby, it's showtime. Oh! How are you going to get her into the sack? I'll use my greatest asset. What's that? Charm? Well, I'll start with charm. Throw in some pizzazz, a little smooth talk, and if that doesn't work, I'll throw in my trump card. Hey, what's that? I'll beg. Anything from the bar, ladies? No. I'll have a Coke, please. Plenty of ice. One Coke, plenty of ice. Coming right up. Hi there. May we join you? Sure, why not? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Give me those two cokes. Okay. Hey, nice work over there. Thank you. Yeah. Should have stayed to get the rest of the order. Come on. Oh, shoot. I don't think you've met our cops yet. Bobo Tipton. Hi ho. It's, it's all mine, I'm sure. How long are you guys here for? Oh, we're jetted in for a few days. We're shooting a TV commercial for Willard Suits. A TV commercial? How exciting. Are there any changes to the storyboard since yesterday, sir? I met with our clients before I left. They are very excited about the whole shoot. We are very much in a go mode. Everyone's room okay? Oh, oh wonderful. Yeah, 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 fantastic. Yeah. I found a big lizard under my bed last night. Mr. Hunt. It wasn't my own, I promise you. Hunt, shut up. I was trying to mate with my alligator shoes, I think. We'll start filming the day after tomorrow. That'll give us enough time to plan. And, uh, play some golf. Oh, thanks. Huh? Now, I've seen these guys, and they're terrific. I'm expecting to get some really exciting action shots. No problem. I got that cup. Uh, <coughs> it's New York for you. Oh. Hello? Your cup. Anything else? Yes, boy. 
Bring me a gin, Fizz. I'd like a martini on the rocks. Oh, that sounds good. Make it two. Oh, and boy, uh, don't forget to bring us some hors d'oeuvres. Yes, sir. I don't know where they find these people. And who cares? Oh, really? <laughs> I care. Oh, that's right. You got a crush on him. She thinks he's interesting. You're serious? A crush on him? <laughs> oh, you must be joking. Will do. All right. Oh, that is a brilliant idea, sir. Will do. Goodbye. Would you believe they now want to have two crews having a race with, of course, our crew, the winner. That was the entire visual aspect of the entire commercial. Oh, don't, don't get so nervous, Tal. You're hemorrhoids, really. Why the hell do these guys keep changing their minds all the time? Because they pay the bills. Where, may I ask, am I going to get another crew? Well, that's your problem, Daryl. Johnny... Oh, I know. I'm on my way. I'll call rent a crew. <laughs> Johnny! I won't. I don't suppose we could substitute a canoe, could we? Canoe? Johnny! Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I got a hand job in the back of a canoe? Bravo! Oh, 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 Thank you. Bravo! Oh, oh, oh. You okay? Yeah. Fine. It's an accident. Bullshit. The bastard did it on purpose. Get the tray out of the pool, will you, boy? Get it yourself, asshole. You are a disgrace. What the hell did you guys think you were doing? I was pushed in, sir. I don't believe it. You know something? You guys are the worst collection of idle bums we've ever had at this hotel. What do you want? I a question. What? I want to know, when was the previous worst collection? I want you to think about it now. I, what, when was it? Was it last year? Was it the year before? Was it the time that the West Virginia Hotel burned down because the boys couldn't work the fire hydrants? Or was it in 1974 when you had your hair out to here and they stole your poker shells because you served the staff contaminated food? I want to know. Get out. You're fired. Mercy me. I'm fired. I've got my freedom. I'm coming to your bosom, Abraham. Does that mean you won't sign my yearbook? That's exactly what it means. Now get out. Whoa! What? I just got one question for you, Mr. Martin, sir. What is it? You ever heard the expression, one out, everyone out? Look, you just get your little ass back to work. <laughs> Anybody here want to stay and put up with this crap any longer? No! No what? No, sir! Then let's get the hell out of here! I just want to see Mr. Bray's face when he finds out that you screwed up and made us all quit. What do you mean the boys are on strike? Well, Martin just came over and told me. I don't have all the details. Get Martin in here right away. Very well, he's just outside. What happened? They couldn't take it, sir. Take what? Discipline, hard work, bunch of little turd bags. Nobody's asking you, Martin. You are hired to train them. Get some notion of loyalty to the hotel into their little pea brains and make sure they stay for the term of their contract. They weren't interested in working, sir. All they cared about was a piece of ass and they didn't care where they got it from. That's all they ever care about, Martin. It's the same story year after year. Only somehow we get them to stay and do a little work in between bouts of copulation. Well, perhaps I should talk to them, sir. You know, a fresh face, a subtle approach. Oh, shut up, Williams. They'd eat you alive. 
And wouldn't you love it? Marty, calling a strike? I mean, this is serious. These people need the money for college. I know, I know. I don't have to labor the point. We're all in this thing together, remember? Okay, you got Martin all off balance because you called the people off the job. Yeah, well, it did him good. We don't have to put up with this crap any longer. No way. Okay, now what you gonna do? My guess is that the management's gonna want to come to us and make some kind of a deal. Well, what if they come up to you and say, yeah, here's your plan to get the hell out of here? They won't. And they can't. Forget, without us, this hotel comes to a grinding halt. Where's our lunch, huh? One moment. Everything well, is well, much order these days. We've been days. waiting here. I can't handle oh, this. Oh, Everything all right? No. Oh, all right, thank you, too. Boy. OK, you chaps? Yes. Very nice. Very nice, guys. And what can I do for you? Well, uh, <clears throat> give me some of those chocolate balls, will you, babe? Don't you mean bafita rolls? Uh, what? The feet are rolled. No, 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 come here, come here. Just sit down. Don't give me any of that fancy French crap. The lady wants chocolate balls. Chocolate balls? I'll give you balls, sir. I'm working balls. here on my own. Balls. And you're giving me with the balls. Yeah, go get the chocolate balls. Uh, waiter, waiter, will you get over here? Can we please have our check? Check? Check! Check, check this. Oh. How's your lunch? Oh, it's just fine. Everything to your satisfaction? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> yes, thank you. You go, Marty. I go. Yeah, me too. Hey, we're all in this together, huh? All right. You know, if your old man finds out you got fired, he's gonna have cardiac arrest. Yeah, well, he won't find out if you don't tell him, Kenny. I won't tell him. I'm just going back to the States and I'm gonna get another job with Brad, that's all. Where, for Christ's sake? I don't know, I don't know, but I'll get one. Look, I'd even scrub toilets for my parents. What about Liza? You're just gonna kiss it off like that? Well, I'm obviously gonna miss her, but what can I do? You know, Marty, in all the time I've known you, I've never seen you give up this easy. Well, just take care of her for me, okay, Chuck? <sighs> well, uh... Actually, uh, that'd be kind of difficult. Why? There's something going on inside that we don't know about? You've been screwing around with the female staff behind our backs? Well... If you guys must know, I, uh, boffed the receptionist. <laughs> no way. Then what? Then I went over to the kitchens and I had that little blonde pastry chef, you know, the one with the, uh... <laughs> oh, wait, no, that was after the, uh, cleaning woman. You guys crawl out of here. I've got something I want to say. Be school yourself. This place is history. Drop that. Sit on your right. Will you shut up? And listen for what's in your lives. Yeah, big deal. This is Mr. Cruz from Triton Productions. He wants to talk to you. Hi, uh, guys. Hi, Hi Mr. Cut! Cut! Uh, well, uh, how, would, how would some of you like to uh, make a few extra, you know, uh, uh, Bucks. Shut up. Talk. I need eight guys who can row a boat. Why? Those preppy bastards eating too much caviar? <laughs> Sorry, old chap. We can't help you with your little film today or tomorrow. Anybody here can row a boat? I figures you would. Anybody else? Well, sorry, Mr. Cruz, only one. What a shame. I mean, you know, there's, uh, there's 200 bucks at stake. For all of us? Oh, no, no, no. 200 bucks for each man that can row. And, uh, yeah, and 500 to split between, uh, between those who can't. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No deal. Everybody gets the same. I agree. Yeah, I, I mean, but, but, there, but there's 20 of you. That's, uh, that's, uh, wait a minute. That's, uh, 20 times, uh... 20 times 200, that's, how much is that? 4,000. 4,000. I mean, <laughs> what are you kidding me? It's 4,000 bucks. Yeah, well, that's your problem, man, not mine. Okay, uh, 200 a man. Okay. Yeah, deal. Deal. No deal. I'll tell you what. Strikes off. Can I have my job back? Deal. Hey, don't drop the boat, see won't see boys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, what is right. this? The Hank and Wally Rowing Club or what? Oh, really? Oh, heads up! 
Good one, guys. Are you sure your guys know what they're doing? No, but I'm getting them into shape as fast as I can. You gotta remember, not one of my boys has ever rowed a boat before. That's not what you told me. You never asked! All you wanted was eight bodies in a boat to race against that college mob. Whether they could row or not, that was immaterial! Race, row, row it! Hey, he wants to help you put it in. Careful now, don't get it wet. <laughs> Dip the stern and then drop the... Re oh, on the rocks, too. That's nice. Well done. <laughs> you guys all wear matching underwear. Or we wear nothing, nothing at all. all. <laughs> well, that's because you have nothing to hold. Oh, wouldn't you like to check it out? Oh, but <laughs> I bet you'd like to show me. Stroke oh, this. Uh, I have never seen a trained attack worm before. <laughs> Yo, Bobo. Oh, no, is that Bobo? Or Bozo? Uh, I think maybe it's Boo Boo. <laughs> Up yours, buddy. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, my goodness. Maybe we should call this whole thing off. No way, lady. Hey, look, just... Cut the crap and let's get on with the job. My boys are working their behinds off out there for you. Not for me. For money. That's bullshit and you know it. My boys have their pride too, you know. They volunteered to do this to get you folks out of a jam. Volunteered my ass. Was for our offer they wouldn't be here. Wrong again, Mr. Strange. My boys have a contract with the hotel to work for the summer. Not play athletes in some crummy soup commercial that no one will ever see. Listen, uh, oh, God damn it, dude. You folks seem to think that you can go around playing with people's lives just to suit you. Well, that shit doesn't work with me or them. When you are ready, we'll be ready. to get into shape you've got to start going to bed at night and stop trying to screw every woman on the island yes, discipline 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 do you want to beat the typhoon yes, my back my back relax anybody in there Oh! Anybody in there? Ooh. I said, is anybody in there? We need some help. Uh, my friend slipped a disc and he can't move. Well, now, what can I do to help you, young lady? Miss Miller. Nice to see you. Get back, Sullivan. Will you just chill out, Mr. Martin? I got an idea here. You got an idea? Look, would you get out of here, Sullivan? I think what we ought to do is break out the windshield and, and rip them out the front. Is this another one of your bright ideas? No, sir, but I think it's a lot better than cutting the car in half. You know what I want you to do, Sullivan? What's that? I want you to take those idiots, get the hell out of here, and bring back help. Move it! Now, young lady... I'll stay with you and keep you both company. There's no need, I can assure you. You should have seen the size of that guy. I wonder what he eats. Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go in. Go in. Let's go. Move it. Hut, 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 hut. Left, right, left, right. Hut, hut, hut. Hut, hut, move it. Move out. Hut, 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 hut. Did you see what I just saw? They were hopping in the car. I 
suppose you could manage just one more time while we're waiting? You must be out of your mind, Geraldine. I can't move a fucking muscle. <laughs> against Paul. I know. But who cares? I might. Really? Then shout for help. <laughs> Go on. Complain. <laughs> so now what? Come out with me on a date. You're very persistent, aren't you? When you see what you want, you gotta go for it, you know? And I'm what you want, is that it? <laughs> yeah, um... you're it. <laughs> this is crazy. We have nothing in common. We move in different social circles. I'm sure you don't have a dime to your name. <laughs> so, a date? Where would you take me? Anywhere your little heart desires. Do you have a car? No, but you do. And I'll drive. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on now. 
What have you got to lose? A night out with a college crowd. I would have thought you had about enough of that to last you a lifetime. Hmm? Why not try something new? <laughs> ah, good afternoon, Miss French. Enjoying your stay? Oh, oh, fine, thank you. Pool's not too cold, is it? No, it's beautiful. Good. Have a nice day. Thank you. Do we have a date or don't we? Oh, you! You bastard! We're gonna have sex or what? So cute. What? What? Sure. With my knee, you're gonna have sex? Yes. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, Sullivan, I have a job for you. According to your personal records, you have the meager ability to drive a car. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Well, I want you to take the rolls, go to my house, pick up my father, and take him for his afternoon drive. He'll tell you where to go. Same damn place every afternoon. And make sure to do everything he tells you. He has a very weak heart, and I don't want him upset. What are you doing, man? Because I like it. Now, get out! Let's go and pick up some broads. Where can we do that? Oh, make a right turn here. Damn it, it's good to be with young people again. We're glad you came, sir. How'd you like my hat? Oh, thank you. I didn't let me do one. Now, what you two young men should do is to take the girls up to the big party at Brimstone Hill and then bring them down to the house for a, a few drinks, eh? Oh, uh, well, that's real nice of you, Mr. Bray, but I, I, don't, I don't... Well, but there's one condition, that I meet all the girls and give them a kiss. <laughs> Bill Scanlon to teach you how to play tennis, ladies. <laughs> Lessons. Hi there. Want to play some doubles? I think we're just going into town. Yeah, you know how it is when you're on vacation. Spend, spend, spend. Help the economy of the island. Well, how about later? I think we're busy. Yeah. Bye. You guys, this is stupid. You're not even here yet. I mean, I don't even think we should do this. We have to be back by sunset. We don't even know who they are or what they're like. Shut up, Alice. No wonder you're still a virgin. <laughs> Look, this is the perfect time to get off the boat for a few hours and have a good time, right? Right. Hey, 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 if that's them, I like their style. Ooh, me too. You know, my dad said never trust the rich. Oh, bullshit, Alice. Excuse me, but where are we going? Uh, to a major party. Who's having it? Uh, the head man on the island. The governor general. Do you know him? You guys live on the island? Six months out of every year. The rest of the time I split between New York and the coast. What do you do? Well, actually, I'm semi-retired. Now I just dabble in the stock market. What about you? I, I work in New York. 
artist management. Oh, who do you manage? All the babies. Like? Like, um, David Bowie? Yeah. Uh, not anymore. I dumped him. Our bio rhythms were incompatible. Do you do anything interesting? Yes. What? something. Well, I... You, you see, my father, he owns this company. I know. You're a secret agent on a special <laughs> assignment from the White House. No. <laughs> well, then what? I work in a morgue. <coughs> a morgue? You work with dead bodies, dead people? Well, you asked. But I do wear rubber gloves. <laughs> Soldiers did from, you know, sex. Same as everyone else. Well, yeah, but uh, there were no, you know, women up here. So? That's disgusting. You mean with each other? No. Give me a kiss, and I'll tell you what they really did. Your sign. Penis rising. That's my favorite. Yeah. So, you had enough of this yet? Sure. Yeah. What's next on the agenda? My house. <laughs> you mofo. What? What are we gonna do there? What do you think? Give me guess. <laughs> that tingles. Need the paper. Mow the lawn. Screw our brains out. <laughs> <laughs> One of the above. <laughs> that feel good? Wonderful. Have you ever tried it? What? Well, champagne all over your butt. <laughs> Sure, I wouldn't leave in the morning without my champagne bath before breakfast. You really do that? Come on, guys. It's party time. <laughs> Hi there. You awake? No. I'm surprised to find you still here. Why? I thought you had a hot date. And what gave you that idea? <laughs> I make it my business to know what's going on. Aren't you supposed to be resting or something? I mean, you are in training, right? I can't sleep because of you. The idea of you hanging around with those hooligans from New York is a total waste of time. He and his friends went downtown looking for girls. Oh. And so you think it's time to make you move, right? I just wanted to get to know you better. That's all. Nice story, Andrew. But now is not the right moment. Well, I suppose watching my videotape of monkeys fucking is totally out of the question. 
But I thought this would be kind of a um, nice romantic interlude. You did? Yeah. Wouldn't you like for me to stay here forever and ever and ever? Yeah, that would be great. But you can't. How come? I have somewhere very important to go tomorrow. Where? Brazil. You do? Race me to the boat. Hey, that's for later. That's for, I'll get you a bedroom, I promise. I don't think I can wait that long. Let's just do it here, okay? There's people here. What are you, crazy? We'll find a bedroom. It'll be better. Just shut up and do what you do best. You mean shoot craps? No, you conehead screwing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't mind Vicky. She just does that sometimes. <laughs> you mean humping on the beach? Yeah. Uh, is Marty very shy? Only when he's dressed. Why? Uh, well, he just kind of seems uptight. <laughs> That's because he worries about his father. They're very close. That is so nice. You know, there's just not enough love in the world. I agree. Let's go make some. Okay. You're really a special guy, you know that? Mm, Liza said that. Liza? Liza, Liza, Liza. D didn't I tell you about Liza? She's my sister. She's staying on the other side of the island with some friends. No. But is she beautiful, like you? No, not really. <laughs> She's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> she smells so nice. So ooh la la. God. How's that? It's great. <laughs> it's really great. Um, but I think we should we should wait. For what? Well, I've got this amazing bed back at home, and it's got the softest pillows and the warmest comforter. I can't wait that long. Sorry. <laughs> You know, you're gonna have to, because if you want to make love to Marty, everything's got to be the best. And when you come back to the house, you'll see what I mean by the best. Okay? So, come on. Let's go get something to eat. Chucky! Chuck. When we get back to your friend's house, will you take a champagne bath with me? Sure. It'll be great. How come? The bubbles will reach places you didn't even know existed. <laughs> I can't wait. I bet you can't. <laughs> oh, Chucky. They're gonna believe this is your house? Yeah. They're never gonna believe that old man's your father. Come on. <laughs> Must be down looking for some more women. You know him. I want this. He wants my little oh, parents over there. Spray. Where are you in there? What are you doing? 
collection of stuck-up pricks sitting behind you? No. Lies on me. We had a wonderful time last night. What? You lying bastard. Ask her. <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna bash your fucking head in. You understand me, you fucking asshole? <laughs> Ready? Hey, what are you doing up so early? Hey, I'm looking for you. 
The bed was empty. And I thought that oh, maybe... Oh, well, don't. I wasn't. I was out taking a walk. But you might? Yeah, I might. I think he's kind of cute. Oh, cute, my ass. He just wants to get laid. That's what he wants. Well, maybe he's not the only one. What's the big deal, Franny? Are you afraid of going down on the social register? Liza, I am not afraid of going down on anyone. Oh, what is this? I mean, have you picked this guy out for me or what? No. He's picked you out. Which one of his Drex thinks he's got a style to go out with me? Penny. He never takes his eyes off you. I didn't even notice you giving him the eye once or twice. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> you know I give everyone the eye once or twice. Well, men, tomorrow's the day. We start filming at 7.30, so we'll want you all dressed and uh, ready to go by 6.00. Yes, sir. We will begin with shots of you getting into the boat, and then we'll film the start, and uh, you'll race each other for about a mile. Now, don't pull away too soon, because we want to show both crews in action making a contest of it. Okay? Uh, sir, how can we make a contest out of this when they've never raced a boat before? Well, you're actors, aren't you? Make it look like a contest. Any questions? I suppose you want us to give them a real beating? <laughs> I just want you to win, that's all. This is a commercial. It's not the Olympics. Here we are. Virgin Colada. And a double rum. So, did you have fun last night? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I thought we had a date. Last night? No. It's... More after the race, wasn't it? Wrong, kiddo. I think you screwed up. No way. How did your feathers ruffle? Just tell the truth. Where did you go? Uh, uh, the four of us took Mr. Bray out for a drive, and he wanted to go to a party, so we took him and we brought him back. It's that simple. No girls? For me, no. For the others? I don't know. I wasn't watching. I'm not their nursemaid, you know. So why didn't you score? I never tried. Did she? What is this? Some kind of an inquisition? I told you what happened. It's that simple. Don't believe me, you can check with the others. My, my, my. Aren't we getting defensive? Would you like anything else from the bar? Oh, that's real good. You see, when you're going down in flames, the best tactic is to change the subject. I think you got laid last night. Honestly? Honestly. No. That's what I thought. You still want to go out with him? Yep. You want to try his friend? Why not? Why don't we try something different, right? Who's going to tell him? You know me. You, since you're getting ready to leave. Hey, can I say something? What? I'm sorry, what I said just now. It's okay. Brandy wants a date with your friend. You mean Brad? No, Kenny. Kenny? Kenny's crazy. He spends his life in a computer room. What would you want with him? Believe me, they are perfect for each other. Look, if I spend the trouble of bringing Kenny over here to meet Franny, she's going to sit there and insult him all day. And I don't want that happening to a friend of mine, okay? No. Just have him give her a call. And then call me. Mm. This asshole wants a steak well done. What? You got a date, Kenny. Franny wants to meet you. Oh, piss off, Marty. Are you sure? Positive. Tomorrow night, 9.30, in the parking lot. Don't be late, huh? Well, oh, that's real class. A date with that blonde in a parking lot? That's right. Then what am I supposed to do? Take her out for a chili burger and a Slurpee at the airport cafe? I thought these chicks had style. They do, I mean, they do, but most of it's just show, you know? They're as horny as we are. They want it, and we've got it. It's the old law of supply and demand. It's a seller's market. Sell. Sell. Sell! Men, I just want to wish you all the best for tomorrow. 
Remember, you're representing the Royal St. Kitts, and I know you'll do your best. Carry on, Martin. All right, men. Now I want you to go out there and beat the hell out of those upper-class dirt bags. You got that? Yes, yes, sir! Now there's a lot at stake here, apart from the money. And I'm sure that in spite of yourselves, you're all going to give it one hell of a try. <clears throat> what is it now, Sullivan? Do I detect a slight change in your attitude towards us, Mr. Martin? Are you trying to piss me off again, Sullivan? No, sir. But usually you're calling us such creative names like dirtbags and things like that. Well, you still are, Sullivan. But it just so happens that this is war. Us against them. And I happen, not by choice, to be on your side. Nobody likes to lose, son. Especially me. Attach hut! Tread garbage! Martin, now that we've saved the rest, why do we still got to stomp garbage? Because those college guys have their training methods, and I have mine. All right, man, listen up. I will give a three-stage verbal countdown to row, unroll. You both start to race. Now, both crews understand. Will you please hold up your hands? All right, you dirtbags. bags. Let's give them a run for their money. I roll, Captain. All ready to row? Ready? Fucking mouth is stuck up brick. <laughs> my, my, aren't we touchy? Follow my throw. Don't waste your time talking. Go! Daryl, get me some more close ups of the college group. Well, we're getting some good shots of the race from here. Daryl, the clients want to see the college crew. They're the ones we're paying top dollar to be in this commercial. They're the stars, okay? Hold on down a bit. Let's see how this goes. Good. Nice shots. Well done. All right, you bastards. Put some power into those stuff. Hey, listen, pal. You call my boys bastards one more time, and I'll fuck you over so bad you won't move for months. You got that, you asshole! You stay out of it! Go fuck yourself! You keep out of this! This is my show! Son of a bitch. Wide around a fat thumb on wheels, tell me what to do on a beach whale. Hans, what are you taking pictures of? That boss! Bro! That's it, bro! You can do it, bro! Hans, who are you taking pictures of? Would you get back on the boats right now? I got it! In! Out! Get me a run by close up to the college crew, Admiral, right now! Get me closer! 
Jesus, hey! Six hours. My computer's got 64K of RAM right now, which is okay for two floppies. But I want to get a hard drive, so I'm going to upgrade to 256K RAM. Then I'll be talking major megabytes. I can increase my memory or network. So what you really want to do is ram your hard drive into a mainframe. Do I ever. I love you, Franny. I love you, too. Brad signed up for Geraldine's horizontal aerobics class. Oh, I always wanted to do this. Oh, oh this jello makes oh, sick. How about the seven moose? <laughs> don't, don't move anymore. Oh. Mm. I gave them a 9.8. I thought that they had a lot of positive energy going for them, and it just looked like they were having fun out there. I say 9.3. It was the Jello that did it for me. I mean, it started kind of slow, but then they really ran with it. Brett, I gotta agree with you on the positive energy, but it was their style that brought me down. 9.0. I really loved it. I'm gonna bring the whole family for Christmas. And Chuck, what can you say? Except that he's gonna have himself a real good time. At least for a couple of days. Oh, I forgot to tell you about Mr. and Mrs. Labowitz. He bought her a wonderful present to celebrate our win. 
Well, it, it was sort of a win, wasn't it? I have a very special gift for you. It was the last one they ever had. <laughs> hmm. Why don't you go to the other room and try that? But remember, if it doesn't fit, I'll return it. Oh, Sonny, this is the best thing you ever bought me that I like. <laughs> Why don't you turn around, darling? Not. Reminds me of my wedding day. Oy vey. <laughs> remember that four master out there? The less said about that, the better. You know, Bobby, I'm so glad to be out of the closet. Imagine that teeny, weeny little closet I was in all covered up like this. Well, you know, I was thinking about it, and, and I had this extra key on my keychain, and I thought, what ho? I should give it to him, but you found your own. <laughs> yes, I did. Thanks to you. All my Marine Corps buddies. What are we going to say? I was a football player. Well, I could always set them up at one of my restaurants as hostesses. Hi, baby. Hi. I guess I did for you. You do? Mm-hmm. $20 from Kenny and $20 and an IOU from Brad. <laughs> Somewhere with $40, is that it? No, 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 that, that, that's stupid, that's stupid. You know how much you're worth? How much? All the tea in China. Mm. Mm. Much, much more. Let's get some meat. You know, Booker T, they really do make a lovely couple. Yes, Bobby, they do make a lovely couple. Thank you.